Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do that again. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to be your MC today. My name is Marcel Chandler. Ironic because with my initials, I'm an MC every day. I want to thank all the outside guests for clearing your busy schedules and taking this trip to Kaksaki Correctional Facility. Today makes history. This is the first time this facility has ever, I mean ever, done anything like this. And I'm pretty confident that Ted doesn't go to prison every day. Here's another first. This is my first time ever on stage. So if I <laughs> if I pass out right now, it's because everybody's staring at me. My heart ain't beat this fast since I've been arrested. <laughs> I want to thank the administration here at Kaksaki. As you all know, organizing a TED event is never an easy undertaking. And a prison presents a special set of challenges. We greatly appreciate the tireless support of the entire executive team, in particular, Deputy Superintendent Blaze and Superintendent Shanley. Please, everybody, give them a round of applause. <laughs> this couldn't have gotten off the ground without the encouragement and the support of the leadership in the New York State Department of Corrections and Community Supervision in Albany. Please join me in thanking Doc's Acting Commissioner, Anthony Anucci, and his executive team. <clears throat> this next person deserved the greatest applause ever. She came here five days a week to prep us for this event. She taught us so many things. It was a blessing and an honor to work alongside of her. Not just work alongside of her, but to learn from her. Please, everybody, give it up for Delia Cohen. Thank you, Delia. Delia changed us forever. Um, I would also like to thank Officer James and Officer Hussein. Uh, those are the correctional officers that also helped since day one. For those of you who don't know, the correctional officers are the prison guards or the peace officers that keep this place safe. Um, I want to thank all of the correctional officers that work at this facility. I've been here for a long time and I see what they deal with on a daily basis. They get my utmost respect and they too deserve a round of applause. As you all know, our last event was canceled due to violence in this facility. We're in jail. Sometimes bad things are just going to happen. It's inevitable. But what I learned on my journey is, it's never about what happens to us in life. It's always about how we react. Our reaction determines our future 95% of the time. So my motto is, and you may have heard this before, when life throw you lemons, you gotta make lemonade, or else you just get smacked with lemons. And that doesn't feel good. <laughs> our theme today is our shared humanity. The whole world, has been dealing with a pandemic for the past couple years. And I think that everybody in this room has been affected by this horrible virus one way or another. Yeah, COVID. I think we all can agree on hating it, right? With a show of hands, who hates COVID? Pretty much everybody in this room. Pretty much everybody in this room. Um, Cause if you told me that you like COVID, I'm gonna automatically think that you bought stock in a vaccine company, <laughs> or you're just crazy. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. The point that I'm trying to make is that we all have one thing in common. No matter what, div we all have one thing in common. We're all human beings. No matter what division or label defines us, we all share the luxury of living life. Today, let's focus on what we have in common. Let's try to see each other through a lens that isn't distorted by bias or presumptions but illuminated with harmony and grace. That's what we're here for, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you look to the back wall, we have what we call a before I die wall. We were inspired by Ted attendee Candy Chang. After watching her TED talk, we learned that she lost someone who was very dearly to her. A loved one of hers passed away, and she came up with the idea to help people focus on what they want to accomplish while they're still alive. So at lunch, we would like everybody in here to participate and write on the Before I Die wall, please. 
To the left of me, we have some artwork that was created by an incarcerated individual. His name is Nicholas Cephaly. He created this artwork by using tissue and soap <laughs> and other materials available to us. He did a wonderful job. Please, everybody, give it up for Nicholas Cephaly. Today, you'll hear from a few incarcerated individuals who attend various programs, making time, making change while we serve time for the mistakes that we made. Because that's another thing that we all have in common. We all make mistakes. Our past should have solely defined who we are. The present needs to count too. 